buongiorno from Tuscany. I'm doing my nails right now. I probably look crazy. This is like, I just slept and woke up, but it's fine. We just got to Florence. I am so excited to be here. I'm, well, actually Tuscany, what am I saying? I've never been, I've been to the, I've been to Tuscany um, a long time ago just for a day for a wine tasting and like a food course that me and my friends did in the castle. It was amazing, the best experience ever. And um, I've never stayed a few days in Tuscany. That's what I do when I'm abroad. I always bring the Kiss Press-Ons, and these are my favorite, the medium length French ones. You can cut them down too if you don't like want the French, if they're too long, sometimes they are too long. My cousin is getting married today, actually. And we, ha we came in last night from Positano. My family's visiting me for a few days. I honestly didn't vlog a lot of it. Now we are in Tuscany until Monday. Today is now Saturday. We got in last night. We took the train up from Positano. I mean, we took the train from Naples to Florence. It was pretty fast. We took the high-speed train, three hours, not bad. And then we drove from Florence to Tuscany. We're staying in the town of Poppy. It's a really cute, small town. My dad is staying at the wedding venue. My cousin, like, has the whole resort for like the family and friends um but there wasn't like enough for me and my brother so we're just staying at an airbnb down the street the resort is stunning i'll show you guys it later today it's literally gorgeous i think my dad's gonna pick us up soon to get breakfast up there and then there's a pool we're gonna go up there in a little bit when my brother wakes up we had dinner there last night they did like a welcome dinner today's the wedding they're getting married outside and it looks beautiful so i'm really excited to see everything this resort guys is stunning i can't wait to show you guys it but yeah we're here until monday and then my family is going to leave and go back to the states we're gonna spend one night in naples and then go back to the states nice to have them visit and then i'm going back to positano i need to do my nails they all fell off last night but it was time it was time for the new ones Let my foot you're literally kidding me this does not feel real and this is just a fraction of the beauty. Guys, I didn't even realize what time it was. It's so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much time. No, I, I'm like speed getting ready now. My dad's gonna be here like 20 minutes to pick me up and I'm like, oh, I am not, I'm like not ready at all. Also, I feel like my foundation does not match me. It's too yellow, but I have nothing else here. So we're just gonna deal with it. Like I, I guess it's not awful. I try to like bronze up my face, but I don't know, girl. If you don't understand how excited I am to wear this dress, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know the drama with this dress is crazy. The way I found it, I tried to order it twice on Reformation and then I got waitlisted and my card didn't go through the other time. I don't know why. I think they like sold out. And then I ended up finding it at a sample sale in new york and literally this is the last one only one there and i was like oh my gosh this dress was meant to be i'm so excited i'm gonna like throw my hair up i have no idea what i'm even putting on my face i always have to use a cotton swab for my eyebrows because they get so much makeup on them this is crucial i'm doing your makeup like ah uh, crucial i'm using my viewfinder as my makeup mirror right now so sorry about that i have to show you guys my new favorite brow product i am obsessed with this it makes your eyebrows stay in place all day without them being like crunchy it, it feels like there's nothing on your eyebrows i ran on my other eyebrow gel while i've been abroad and this one is the best i've ever used it's the grande brow eliminate and it has peptides in it so it's really good for your brows like to nourish them and i love the spoolie thing because it's just more precise like I like the angle of the brush. Me and Christina both used this product for the first time together and we were like, wait, this is everything. The new best product for our brows. I'm obsessed, like, it's so easy. I also absolutely love, I have it right here in my makeup bag, the Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. I've been using this for three years now. It promotes longer looking lashes. Oh, this is the reason why I have eyelashes. I swear my life, like, I did not have eyelashes before that product. I also just love that it conditions the brows, like my brows feel so soft. And you can get both of these products at Ulta. I have them linked down below in the description box. Love, love, love both of these holy brow products. I swear my life, I don't know what to do without them. 
I also have a tail on. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can tell. Since you're putting something on your eyelids really close, it's really important to make sure the product is safe and it's not going to irritate your eyes. And this one has never irritated my eyes. I've been using it, like I said, for so many years now. It's been around for a long time and it's proven to be safe. So we love that. Bronzer to set the shadow. And then I need to do the wing. So mascara, which you guys know I can't do on camera. And then we can do the hair. Okay, we'll be back. after the wedding now and we are having a little poolside lunch so this is my outfit this dress from realization part is so cute i've worn it so much while i've been away this is my italy dress so i love it all the time i wear it i wore it a lot last year just have on some gold jewelry my pollen bag i put this little scarf over and i think it's so cute little manolos on as well thrifted these earrings so get lunch because we need it from drinking all night really bad i was rushing to get ready for the wedding so i didn't vlog a lot of it because we had to just hurry up but i want to show you guys the venue because we're here now at the pool we were just sitting at the pool and they had gelato and lunch rest they, it was such a good like day after wedding setup that they had so this is the entrance of this beautiful resort. They have little houses for you to stay at. I don't know how my cousin found this place, but it's just been so stunning. You walk out here and then last night they had the dinner outside right here, which was just so stunning. I got some videos of it, but they had three tables lined up for us down here. I think that's like the kitchen and stuff over there. And then, at night we had dancing out here and the cake and they made the cake together it was so cute it was a traditional like italian dessert not like a traditional wedding cake so then they had um so yeah we were dancing mostly inside there they have this all out here it's just stunning we walk we walk we walk down there's two pools and they're so beautiful um but then they had aperitif down in this area yesterday. And it was just like meats, cheeses. Tomorrow we're going back. Oh my God, there's a dead bird. Oh my God, that was so sad to see. They did like all inclusive for the weekend. So all of her family and their the husband and the groom's family are staying here. So these are all different apartments and little hotel rooms, houses essentially for all the family to stay in. Like seriously, dream wedding they have a little market in here where you can pay for things and it's like help yourself and you can get like wine pastries merchandise <laughs> if you want in here and then this is another house there's like two in here this is where my dad his brothers and sisters are staying and then my cousin's mom so the the bride's mother and father are staying above. Do you want to be my vlog? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> sure, I don't look very good right here. No, now. you look cute. Yet? Drinking, eating your gelato. Okay. Which one did you get? I got the milk chocolate. That one's that so good. Called. So cute. I didn't try the chocolate when we were in Florence. I had the berry. Oh. The strawberries and raspberries. Yeah. Chocolate is delicious. That one's so good. I got the milk chocolate and the strawberry. <laughs> so this is Lucy, my Aunt Lucy. Hi. Hello, everyone. So this cute. Wonderful. The wonderful most beautiful. gelato. Yes, <laughs> most beautiful place to eat gelato. <laughs> Stunning. And then this is the little house they're staying in. Well, big, beautiful house. Oh, my Aunt Mariana's sleeping. My dad's room. So these are my dad's sisters. 
They're so cute. My dad has 12 brothers and sisters. He's a big family. Yes, okay, so cute. So you can park your cars down here. I think yesterday, this is where the wedding took place, but they didn't want any phones, so I didn't take any videos or anything. It was so beautiful. They had seats on both ends and they had like petals and then this arch thing, they had flowers all around it and then this obviously stunning panoramic view. It doesn't even <laughs> look real. So that was that. That's the cute how like this is, seems just unreal. And then, like I said, there are two pools, which I will get videos of for you guys to see. This is the one pool. I even noticed there's like ping pong and stuff down here and games to play. That is so nice. And then this is the second pool. Like this is stunning. Ice cream in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. You mind if I have one for you? Oh, that's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Dad, you have to try it. You want me to take a photo of you? Do you want me to take a photo of you? <laughs> my dad can't hear anymore. Here, smile. Oh, Dad, these are good photos. It's a good photo. Look at me. Cheese castle. Cute. Wow, the lighting's really good. Buongiorno. We are getting ready right now to head back to, to Florence. I can't think right now. We're driving back to Florence through Tuscany and then we're going to Naples for one night. My family's going there for one night. I'm going back to Positano. Um, but we're gonna have one night in Naples and like explore and also get dinner with um, one of my dad's friends. It's like a really difficult situation to explain. Basically this guy drove my dad from the hospital and back last year and he is the best guy ever he lives here in naples so we're getting dinner tonight with him and his girlfriend and then yeah uh, he's gonna take me back to positano because he has a car he's the best um antonio we love him I'm excited to go back to positano but tuscany is beautiful i wish i could spend longer here i'd love to come back for a longer time frame we went to this beautiful restaurant yesterday by the castle of poppy and the food was phenomenal and the view was incredible so i highly recommend going there i'm waiting for my wedding dress to dry i spilled so much stuff on it and i'm trying to get it to dry before i asked my dad to take it back but this part's dry it's just black satin part is not drying and I got so much stuff on it from the wedding. This dress is beautiful, but not great for eating and drinking in. Let me tell you that. We just made it to Naples. We're only here for a few hours. My family's standing, my family's spending the night though. So I wanted to like walk around and explore because I've never, I've only been in Naples one other time with a boy. <laughs> so let me walk around myself and see what it's actually like. Bella, bella, bella. Bella. Bellissimissima. Bellissimo. Tu, tu, tu. Bellissima. <laughs> Bellissimo. No, tu bellissima. <laughs> okay. I think Raffaele wants me to mix this, but I might give you all that. Ti piace questo hamburger? Si. Si? Buono? Uh -huh. Americano. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
It's an Italian, it's not a, it's not a English uh, words, Home. but as now a lot of English words start to, yeah, to become famous. Yeah, homie is American, no? Homie say, is American? Say, yeah, homie like is American. Like friends? Oh, yeah, homie. that's my homie. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay so it's <laughs> We had to learn Italian. I don't know. <laughs> Adoro. 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 Totale. Totale. But I prefer Adoro. Adoro. Like we always say top. Top? It's, top? It's an American word, oh. so... Oh, but top is like the... Yeah, it's like incredible, your yeah. It's like slay. So you have to start oh. saying slay and we'll say it. <coughs> so if I see you and you look beautiful, I'll go... Adoro! Okay. Yeah, and you have to see me. Adoro! Adoro! Oh, you have to do it. Yeah, you have to I like it. I like it. It's just like slay. When you do, when you do like this, maybe it's like a big friend. Like, oh. you like my outfit. Adoro! Oh. I don't like it. Very Italian. Or tutale. 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 Tutale, it's from Milan. I like Adoro. Adoro is better. Adoro is so cute. Right? If you're a bad bitch, you say amo totale. Amo totale. I like amo totale. Amo totale. That's like light. I love it. Totally love. Yeah. Amo totale. Amo totale. I like that one. But he always. Do this kind of TikTok or just this? I don't know. I've seen him before. He also does. Eric, Eric Shin. I love it. Oh my god. I like it. <laughs> that was one and then there's. Yeah, please. The fo not, not follow, but put his you Instagram page. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's a meal. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. This is a uh, first course. So, so you made pasta, ravioli? Stop to do the cuttlefish. Wow. It's a calamari fresh. Wow. One yellow red cherry tomato, basil sauce, chili pepper, caviar, caper, mayo. Wow. Enjoy. Yeah, it's so cute. That's so nice of him. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs>